Go, arrest me. I'm telling you just to... Make arrest me, I'm not, because I'm not... This is, this is a public street sign, look at it. Cops are there to uphold the law, but sometimes they make questionable decisions that suggest a lack of understanding. Today, we'll be going through these cases where corrupt cops cross the line. On October 27, 2020, an auditor and a YouTuber named Delaware Defender was photographing a chicken plant in Herlock when someone called the cops. Within moments, Officer Lee appeared on the scene and went over to investigate the matter. Just getting some pictures. Yeah. I'm just working on a little news story. Huh? I'm just working on a little news story. News story? About the health and food industry and stuff, yeah. Okay. That's all. You work for a company or? No, nah, I'm just independent. Just independent. trying to get my own thing going. Okay. I always had someone call in saying you just ride around with a camera, that's all. I'm sure. I'm surprised. No one even came out, so I'm surprised. Usually they'll come out and harass me for a little bit before they call you guys. Yeah. But. They might sooner or later. <laughs> they might, yeah, I don't know, so. Okay. All right. What you're good, man. What's your name? I'm not giving any ID today. No ID? Nah, you're good, man. All right. Appreciate it, man. What was your name? Officer Lee. Lee, thank you, sir. Officer Lee was respectful and didn't do anything unlawful, as he quickly got away once he realized that the auditor was only exercising his constitutional rights. However, just a few minutes later, Corporal Garvey came on the scene with an entirely different demeanor. What, did Lee not do a good enough job? What's that? Lee already responded out here. He gave me on private property videotape. What's that sticker say on it? Yeah, that's the Department of Transportation. Well, yeah, the state of Maryland put this here. Yeah, well, this here is private property. This Not where I'm standing, dude. Yes, it is. You got an ID on it? Let's go. Arrest me. No, I'm telling you just to... Arrest, arrest me. I'm not, because I'm not... This is, this is a public street sign. Look at it. You're ridiculous. <laughs> Lee was perfect. You just ruined it for you guys. <laughs> you just ruined it. Garvey, you have a badge number? Yeah, 0142. Why did you ruin it? Corporal Garvey seemed unaware of the difference between public and private property. The auditor, on the other hand, had a simple and straightforward response, which takes some guts and deserves praise. Yeah. I'm not trespassing. Yeah, your own private property, buddy. This is a street sign. Yeah. Well, we're not it's that. public property. They don't, I don't want to play it either. Arrest me. I'm asking you for your identification. Come on, I'm not gonna resist you at all. I'm not giving it to you. I'll give it to you at the station. I want you to do I want you to take it all the way. You think you're a bully, then let's take it all the way. I'm not a bully, I'm seeing what you're doing. You're on private property. I already told Lee what I was doing. Well, you told me. I'm you not on you. private property. I'm you need to go you. look at the map. Well, I'm telling you you're on private property. How do you know? This is the road. That's the land. That's private property. There's you know this thing called an easement, right? Yeah. Because I don't have to walk in the street. I, I can walk here. That's why these signs are here. Yeah. Your own private property, videotape. The auditor was doing a fantastic job as of now, as he refused to give in to the corporal's claims and didn't shy away from the idea of being arrested. Shortly after, Officer Lee also joined in. What's that? You hear this, dude? You were perfect. Why is he gonna ruin it for you guys? He's not ruining nothing. You weren't on the property earlier, and now you are. I was in the same exact spot. And you were down the street. Do you know what this is? What's that? A street sign. Uh -huh. They can't put their street signs on Amic Farms property. Okay. So this cannot be Amic Farms property because there is a Maryland sign here. Okay. Come on, dude. Come I'll on, Garvey. I'm Good not going to give it to you. I'll go. That's Sorry. fine. You got anything on you? Um, not really, no. I got a phone and keys and a water bottle. This is ridiculous, guys. Garvey had no right to go search him, as he had committed no crime whatsoever. Despite this, the auditor could only watch in despair as he went ahead with the search. You guys are a joke. Just a business card. Delaware Defender. That's me, brother. <laughs> you earned, uh, Why are you going in my pockets? I actually got anything on you sitting out. What do you... I just told you. A strap. Strap? That's it. That's a lens cap. You're making it difficult. Uh, Lee was perfect. I'm not trespassing. You're ridiculous. I'll go to jail for it because you're full of shit. <laughs> okay. This, there's no way that this is their property. It has a sticker on it because Maryland owns it. They don't stick it on other people's property. You need to call the plant manager out here and tell you that you're on his well, property? Get the property lines. Right. He's got no idea. How, why are you listening to them? You're the police. Yeah, I know. You don't know. I Clearly. Do. You have no idea. The I'm not on their property. Uh, 
The auditor was right, as the area he was standing was in the public road portion of the parcels. However, as of now, it seemed like the officers had no idea about the laws and weren't even ready to listen. That's when the corporal presented him with another option. So you want me to stand in the street and get you a ticket for... Street, stand across the road. That's then. their property too then. That's a public road right there. That's a road. So is this. You're not on the road, you're on the grass. That's oh my property. God, you are ridiculous, Garvey. You want me to go on the other side of the street? And I'm gonna ask you one more time for your name. I'm not giving it, I'll move. You have a lawful order to give me your you name. You asked me to leave, I'm gonna leave. I gave you a lawful order to give me your name. So what is your name? Oh my God, I guess I'm going to jail today, that's fine. What is your name? I'm going to jail, it's fine, let's go. I'm not giving it, I'm not trespassing. You can't arrest me for trespassing because I'm not trespassing. This is not their property. It's not, whose the property is it? It's, it's an easement, this is, it's county property, city property. The situation heated up as the corporal had practically detained the auditor, refusing him to move anywhere else. This detainment was completely illegal as he had no obligation to identify himself to the officers. I don't want to be in the street because I can get hit by a car in the street. The thing, That's why there's an easement, so I don't get property, hit. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. Then what are you doing? Do you think I'm on their property, Lee? Yes. Then why didn't you do something then? down there at the end of the street it wasn't their property down there now how they own the whole thing over there they have the whole yard i was ready right other property lines too well i know where the easements are but th there's a sidewalk there that people are allowed to use that's a sidewalk this isn't a sidewalk well there is no sidewalk it's exactly. the same idea just because there isn't a paved piece of concrete here doesn't mean the same rules don't apply okay. i do this everywhere do you? State, state well, easement laws, yeah. I mean, the, the feetage might be different, but I'm not even two feet off the road here. You were right up here when I seen you. I was standing right behind, in line with this piece of wood, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I got it on video. I'm still videoing now. And so am I. Well, that's great. Yeah. The conversation dragged on as the officers were uncertain about what to do. Their poor understanding of the law was quickly exposed by the brave auditor in the next few moments. If I wanted to take you for trespassing, I'd have to take you. I'm asking so you then what are you name. doing? So you're going to take me for failure to ID? Yeah. Well, what law am I breaking? Failure to obey a lawful order. I've given you, told you to give me your name. Maryland is not a stop and ID state, Garvey. You have to accuse me of a crime. That's the Fourth Amendment, just one, flat out. One, you're trespassing. I'm not. You just said I'm not trespassing. No, I said I'm not locking you up right now for trespassing. Why? I just said to. This is ridiculous. Because I'm trying to be easy with you here. Have you ever heard of free press? Yeah, I've heard of free press. Bang, thank you. That helps me out a lot if this gets ugly. That helps me out a lot. But that's not what your business card says. It does. It's investigative journalists. Journalism is press. And it does say on there, free press needs to stay free. You, you didn't, even, you didn't even read it. Seeing the auditor not backing down and not willing to give up on his rights, the corporal resorted to the only option left for him. I don't want to be in. I want my rights respected. Uh -huh. I'm out here. Huh? Now you are. You're I trying to get my ID and violate my Fourth Amendment. I have by... every reason. I have a lawful reason to identify you. You're Why? on private property. I wasn't. I wasn't. Then let's go for trespassing. All right, we'll turn around. Oh, my God, Garvey. Are you going to give me your name now or not? Well, let's wait till we get in there. Let's see your supervisor says something about I am this. Supervisor. You're the supervisor. I am. Yeah, I guess I will then. Yeah, we can just walk. I'm fine with walking. No, we're not walking. It's right there. I can see it. Yeah, well, we're not walking. If we get hit by a car, then there you go, trying to sue us again. So we're going to put you in the car. I can't believe this guy. The auditor was arrested and was taken to the police station. Imagine being arrested for this without even stepping a foot into private property. Oh, I don't want to be on their property, man. No, I'm escorting you. Oh, so it's legal now. I walk around all the long. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I know. Can you do something with this water bottle? Yeah, it's, it's in the way of my hands here. Do you want to turn this camera off or is it alright if I'm recording? I'm recording too. So oh, okay. Keep I'll keep it on, hell yeah. I don't want to turn it off. It don't matter, I don't really care, dude. You're not trying to be my friend right now, dude. I know, oh, no, so I, I, I don't give a shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is unbelievable. However, he was immediately released without any charge, and the police department waited three months to charge him with criminal trespassing and failure to obey a lawful order. The prosecutor rejected the failure to obey the charge, but proceeded with the trespassing charge. The Delaware defender hired an attorney and contested the charge, and was eventually proved not guilty, as the corporal had no authority to trespass him. He also claimed that he'd be filing a lawsuit against the officers, but as of now, we have no update from him, and he hasn't uploaded anything on his YouTube channel as well. But 
but that's not the last time a police officer took a matter way too far. And this time, he did it with an FBI agent. We're begging you to cut off your an FBI special agent traveled from Panama City to the small town of Carabel to investigate alleged corruption in Franklin County and called Sheriff's Deputy Rolf Gordon to talk about a ticket he had issued to a local businesswoman. As Deputy Gordon arrived on the scene, he turned on his body cam, an action the FBI agent didn't seem to like. That'll work. You run your body cam? I, I am now because I don't know how legit you are at the moment. It's okay. Special agent had it. Yeah. Okay. You got that on body cam? I do, but I don't understand what the problem is with you meet me at the office. I'll talk to the U.S. Attorney's Office about it. You can cut off the reporting device now. Okay. Well, I will when I leave the area, sir. Hey, TJ. This guy is uh, telling me to turn my body camera off and telling me he's going to contact other people to get involved with this. Let me get his tag number real quick. It's gonna be LKST57. Special Agent Alexis Hatton knew a lot about the deputy and asked for a private conversation. However, the deputy denied this request and in turn contacted his department to verify Hatton's car. Yeah, he told me to turn my body camera off because he, he didn't want that running. And uh, so now he's no, he's still here. He's looking at me. Franklin, Jerry, 28, Lincoln, Kilo, Sierra, Tango, 57. She was played on 2015. Absolutely four, not. Four door, still now he's dark saying, blue and color. Now he's saying I'm trying to detain him. I've never, I've never told you I was detaining you. That's on camera that you are staying here willingly, sir. 630 of 20, 51, 29 on that vehicle. Despite Hatton providing identification, Deputy Gordon refused to abide by his commands. Moments later, he got an update on the car's license plates, and this information completely changed the outcome of the incident. Yes, 20, 51, 29 on that vehicle. Franklin, does that come back to any government agency? This is easy to come by. It just advises Advanced Wiring Company. Do you work for a Doesn't wiring company? Further. It's a covert vehicle, sir. Okay. Like I'm being detained. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? You're the one who called me here, sir. How yeah. did you get my phone number? I can't give you that information. Yeah. I need to take my weapon off, okay? 26 Franklin. I'm, I'm not, not, not going to put you in cuffs. Put the narrative for this call. Where, where is it at? He's got detained. Okay. I've got my weapon to be on a federal right. agent. You do got, is it on? Do I have permission to take it off? No, you don't have permission okay. to take it Just hang tight right here. I'm not cuffing you. I'm not cuffing you. You Dude, get would mad? you like to see some registration? You get mad at me would because you, I turned my like body to, camera on. Would you like to see some registration? And you know a lot of stuff about me. Would you like to see the registration, sir? I, I don't really want anything from you at this point. My supervisor's on the way. Excellent. That's fine. You don't have to keep your hands up. I'm just I trying to figure out what's going on. I don't want to be shot out here. I don't want to be shot either. I'm going to call my office. Yes, sir. Bye, Jim. Surprisingly, Gordon went over to detain Special Agent Hatton as they both waited for the supervisors to arrive. All of this was increasingly infuriating the FBI agent. 12, he's refusing to give any information. For, for the supervisor to come speak to you. For a supervisor to come speak to you. LT, he provided credentials, but he's refusing to give any kind of business card or any kind of contact info with who he's affiliated with. They want a business card. I told him I don't give out business cards. It's Franklin County. So you have to call the sheriff to let him know that his deputies have been stopped here and are holding me. He's going to ask why. You're not going to be able to tell him. I haven't seen a badge. I've seen an ID card. I haven't seen a badge. You have not seen it? No, sir. I haven't seen a badge. I've seen an ID card. I handed this to you. Did you grab it? Take it out of my hand. Do you not see a badge? I see a badge now. That's the first time I saw oh, the badge, Lord. sir. You don't need to be a deputy. I saw this. Moments later, finally, the supervisor arrived on the spot. And instead of reaching a resolution, he chose to escalate the situation by doing this. Yes. Yes. You don't have any yet, You're but right now we're running sir. you through multiple federal databases. Yeah. The 
okay, nobody's coming up with your name, you also coming back on a terror watch list. So we're going to secure you for our protection and yours. We're going to put you in the back of a police car. Where, where's that weapon at, sir? It's, up, it's right on my side. right side, buddy. You got any other weapons on you, sir? Uh, no, just my wallet. All right, I'm just going to pat you down sure, real quick. Go ahead. Special Agent Hatton found himself handcuffed and seated in the back of the police cruiser as the deputies considered him a threat. Despite being right, Hatton didn't resist and complied with the officer's instructions. Inside the car, Hatton found himself in a desperate situation. 33 Franklin, we've, we've uh, detained this whiskey mic and got him in cuffs in the back of the car now. Okay, okay. All right, I'm turning it on right now. Open the door. I can't breathe. Sir, I can't open the door. You're being detained right now. 26 Franklin, 1065. Do you have your body camera on still, brother? Absolutely. It ain't going off. Thank you, brother. Look, I'm begging for you. Turn, turn the air. I am dying in here. You're burning me up, brother. I had the defroster on. A few moments later, Deputy Gordon received a call from his department that exposed the truth, also highlighting their incompetency and the grave mistake they had made. Uh, he is a, he is a kid. Damn fool. So we can... Hold on. Sure. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What's he doing he here? He is legit. 10 4 five. Uh, I'm a, Who just called? Can't call him now. Uh, Captain Webb just called. Who Captain Webb called? Who verified? Captain Webb. I don't know who... 33 to 5, could you advise me who verified that this person was legit? I need to discuss some things with you about the Carabelle area. Are you working over here today? Franklin, said, yes, sir. you did advise Lawrence. So he told me to meet him here. I came up. He said, can you, do you mind me sitting in my car with me real quick? He showed me, he flipped open this. Despite knowing the truth about him, the deputies and even the sheriff himself refused to set him free, leaving Mr. Hatton gasping for air inside the congested police cruiser. It took the deputies another few minutes to fix their mistake. All right, sir. Call 911. Call, I need a medical attention right now. Call, call 911. Call 911. We're, we're releasing you right no, now, call sir. call 911 now. Call 911. I need 33. They're begging you to cut off your heat. Release now. Mr. Hatton had felt the effect of the heat inside the car and promptly requested emergency medical services. The deputies also called for help, but it seemed like it would ages for it to arrive. Meanwhile, the deputy's condition was worsening. As Special Agent Hatton was suffering for help, the deputies thought it was a matter to joke about. It's truly shameful how the deputies treated an FBI agent, revealing a lack of compassion among law enforcement officers. was eventually taken to the hospital where he received treatment and was good to go. Hours after the incident, several FBI agents met with the sheriff as well. Sheriff A.J. Smith claimed that the deputy was working under the laws and his suspicion was justified. He also said that the agencies would work together a lot better in the future. Cops seem to have a knack for making issues out of nothing, just like this encounter here. What are you going to do? Put you in handcuffs. <laughs> for You're going to physically assault me for I'm touching my vehicle. You. In July 2019, a shooting took place on the south side of Billings Montana. The suspect fled the scene in his car. A few moments later, some police officers saw a car that matched the description of the suspect's car and approached it for inspection. The officers talked to the lady who was driving the car, and eventually, her father arrived to address the situation. Okay. Yeah, they well, they the matter searching. They're pulling guns on my house. And they, this guy, he had a gun. <laughs> Not like this, How's it going, man? Frank, right? Yes, sir. Oh, hey, nice to meet you, man. Hey, so I don't know what if these ladies explain to you what's going on. Yeah. But uh, basically, there was a uh, 
a shooting. Okay. Okay. And uh, one of the suspect vehicles that was listed as like leaving the area, possibly a black Dodge Nitro. Okay. Hence why we're here, right? Um, and With also, rims or just yeah, black yeah, Dodge Nitro? Yeah. Yeah. Chrome rims. Yeah. Okay. Like, even though the car resembled the suspect's vehicle, the officers had no legal right to inspect the car or even question his daughter. Despite this, proceeded to make a request. We've already talked, spoken with everyone out of, out of this residence and them, and, and I think everything is, I mean, everything, I don't, we have no reason right now to, to expect or believe that they're involved, right? But, yeah. uh, but um, with your permission, at least, the vehicle's registered to you. Yeah. Just to cross our T's and dot the I's and just make sure everything's safe, uh, we're, we're going to ask you if maybe we can ask for consent just to search the Jeep. No, that's, no. No, no not going to no, happen? No. Okay. Because it's no, just, you got a warrant, it's fine. just clear. Well, out, then why, if she's cleared out, then why do you need to search the vehicle? We just have to, just to be sure. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you already ruled out the. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. That doesn't make sense to me. We, like, no, it's just not going to happen. So, no big deal. It's just, not 100% sure. No that big would, deal. That would just help us to get there. Yeah, well, I'm and for I mean, sure. So. I mean, we're just trying to clear everyone here. Right? Yes. We're, if she's like cleared said, or is she not cleared? We're, we're like 90% sure. The girl's father stood firm in his stance, standing up for his rights and denying the officers the chance to search the vehicle. However, the cops won't take no for an answer. Come over here to get but, but yeah, I know for a fact that there's no weapons, there's no nothing in that vehicle, so there's no need to search it. I mean, that's that's what it is. I mean, okay. if you guys want to take it further there, I, you know, it's fine too, but... Yeah, that, all right, you, know, you know, that's that's your... Uh, if that's your prerogative and that's how you want to do it, that's fine. Yeah, I just, but for right cause now, because I, I know what what's what, well, you know what I mean. Right. I mean, you. And do. I think you do too. For, you but do for your daughter. You, you do want to take it a little further, and you well, know no, what I'm saying. Just, we just want to be sure. We just have to make sure. Well, what what rolled her out for you guys? What's that? You said she was rolled out. So what what would rolled no. her out? Her story. Basically, what she said yeah, she did yeah. And that just this it. whole thing's an evolving investigation, right? Yeah. Like he had said, we're at like 90%. We just like that little push of assurance at the end to make oh, sure everything's well, clear. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. At this point, the officers should have let the family alone, but they kept intimidating the man and his daughter and eventually resorted to bullying tactics. You, the thing is, you don't know exactly where she's been, right? Well, I know she was here. She wasn't, she lives with her mom, so she's with her I mom, then her she came house. here, and then she went to I'm Sonic. Leaving. I know exactly I where she was at. Okay. I yep. left her house, right. went to my ex boyfriend's mm -hmm. to drop off a shirt. Went, stayed there for like five yeah. minutes. I know, I know. Left, okay. came here, came here. sat Fair here. Kids. So yeah, it's, there's no, I wouldn't, no. Okay. I wouldn't worry about it. Well, no. I mean, it's our job to worry about it, right? Well. Because there, there was a huge event, and we have to investigate to our fullest. Otherwise, our ass is on the line. And I'm sure you understand Oh, yeah, yeah, I get you. So, so for right now then, I guess the, the Jeep's not going anywhere. The Jeep's just not going nowhere? Yep, just for right now. It's so not going we, anywhere. Is she detained? Is that even a Jeep? Uh, no. no. Okay, no, then we can go anywhere we no. want. But right now... For right now <laughs> what do you mean? No. no. I I'm can get in my car and I can leave with my car. Well, <laughs> Am I detained? You just told us to get a warrant. Yeah, yeah. get a warrant. Okay. Yeah. So that's so, what So you're going to take time no, to get a warrant? Get a warrant. Yeah. Well, the officers seemed pretty friendly in the beginning, but as they couldn't get what they wanted, their demeanor changed completely. The man, however, once again refused to give up his rights so easily. This is the vehicle well, if you want to get a warrant. We don't make that decision. Because it's judge, called proof to get a warrant, a judge, not just a probable, hearsay. Probable cause. Oh hearsay. So. Well, then let them get a warrant. They so get a warrant, yeah. We'll warrant. present the probable cause to the judge. The judge will either grant the warrant or deny the warrant. Right. Okay. And then we'll go from there. Yep. Okay. But in the meantime, it has to stay where it's at. Okay. Why can't you just let them search it? Because... We're, we're kind of past that point, you know. So. Yeah, we are past that point. All right, I'm gonna. Good luck on that. So what if I take my car? What are you gonna do? You're not gonna let me in my car? No, you're not. Dad, <laughs> seriously, dude, stop. Give me my keys. Give me my keys. As the man stood firm against the corrupt officer, his family started to pull him away. It's understandable, considering the stories and the videos they would have seen over the internet regarding cops' brutality. Fun with that. Let's just leave him. I got this all recorded, so. Because you don't wear body cams, right? No, no accountability? Oh, right on. Let's go, And you pull guns up in here? You had guns pulled in here? Yeah. Kids came swimming here. Like, bullshit. 
The officers decided to wait for a search warrant as the person finally decided to leave the scene. The guy stood there observing the officers, and after 10 minutes of waiting, they couldn't obtain a search warrant and decided that they had had enough. They eventually left the premises and also informed the family that they were free to leave too. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Today, we got to see three instances where police officers overstepped their boundaries. In all of the instances, the officers could have used de-escalation tactics instead of escalating the situation. The case involving the FBI agent was particularly troubling, as it indicated the lack of communication among law enforcement officers. In the end, the officers got away without facing any consequences for their actions. I believe accountability is crucial in such encounters. If you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video, and also make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, check out the next video here.